Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And this is the Lord's Weekend God's Life. So, those last two commandments, the coveting one, you shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or manservant or ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. Um, we already talked about those. God's being redundant again. There's nothing in the last two commandments that we haven't already discussed in thou shalt not steal and thou shalt not commit adultery, but they are very, very important. You see, in these last two commandments, God is trying to show us that sin is not just something we do. Sin is of the heart and well, since you can't always see it, we sometimes need to point it out. Since you can't always see it, um, we try very hard to keep it hid so that it doesn't show. Then we pretend to be godly. We know how to adorn ourselves most finely and conceal our rascality, resort to and invent adroit devices and de deceitful artifices such as are now daily most ingeniously contrived as though they were derived from the law codes. Yea, we even dare impertinently to refer to it and boast of it and will not have it called rascality, but shrewdness and caution. You see how smart I sound when I say big words? That's fantastic. <laughs> This is what we do with sin. We dress it up. We dress it up behind excuses. We dress it up behind best possible constructions. I wasn't being a thief. I was being financially shrewd. This is what my heart will do. It will do everything it can to keep the sin that is tucked away in there hidden. And so these last two commandments, thou shalt not covet, they call it to light. These, these last two commandments, they call us to speak about our hearts honestly hearts full of covetousness are sinful hearts and when we can actually speak about our sin that bluntly then we can find a savior who bled for that sin who bled for you and bled for me and there we find a measure of hope higher things thanks you for your support please continue to support the work we do with youth by going to our website at higherthings.org clicking on the support and donating securely through paypal your gift helps us in our mission to support pastors, youth workers, and parents in daring our church's youth to be Lutheran. HigherThings.org slash support. Give today.